thought it was unique. Yeah. Uh, I thought, you know, I, one of the tricks in telling a good story is how's it different from the way that this story's been told again and again and again. And this one, I think, it's the collision of, you know, workplace commitment. You know, I have my job. I have my, my calling. There's a duty there, and there's family, and I have a, I have a job, and I have a calling, and there's mm-hmm. duty there. Um, but this one, I think, uh, A, because there, it's a woman in the pivot of it, uh, and B, because the workplace calling is something that's we don't uh, normally think of being a woman's job. Mm-hmm. Um, it just really upped the stakes, and I was like, oh, I, I'd like to be a part mm-hmm. of this. Yeah, same for me. I've never heard this story um, from a, a female perspective. Um, I think um, stories about female veterans are, are nearly absent from, from our culture. So from my point of view, I was completely enlightened by it when I read it. And I was just struck at the substance of this particular character. And I hadn't read anything um, as good as this in a really long time. And, and I really wanted to be a part of it. And then when I sat down with Claudia Myers, um, our writer director, um, I think within 10 minutes, I knew I wanted to make it with her. She was just this wealth of knowledge um, in terms of the military and, and what she had done um, on behalf of them in terms of her research. So both of you guys play really complicated characters, and I feel like you guys never get to experience happiness in it. It's a really small <laughs> fraction of it. Um, can you guys explain like what what are each character's motives and why are they why there's so much animosity with each other? You know, like. Well, you know, they're in a tough situation. Um, there's a lot of sacrifice that they're being asked to make. Um, and uh, it's, it's a big job to raise a kid, and it's another, it's another big job to do it alone or to mm-hmm. do it from across the world and while And another big a job when the, <laughs> when the ultimate sacrifice could be, you know, dying, and you share a family together. And that's a big ask of somebody to say, uh, I need you to support you know, support me um, to go away for 14 months and allow me to do a job that I'm passionate and that I love to do um, with the risk of knowing that you may not come home. That's a really big ask of someone, um, of, you know, the father, of the mother of your child. So they definitely have um, a, a combative nature with each other. I mean, realistically, like so many, I think probably families do in this situation. You know, Maggie makes the choice to, to re-enlist, and um, she, she wants to do this job, and she feels um, a real duty to not only her country, but her fellow troops, and, um, and yet she still feels that she's a devoted mother, even though she might not be there and present every day, and she asks for his support, and uh, you know, it's a very hard thing for, for you to give her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Maggie's a very tough character. Where do you mm-hmm. think um, her toughness and her strength comes from? Well, in her, in her aptitude, you know, in her belief to do what she's chosen to do. You know, she's a medic. She's very good at her job. And I think that anybody in any career who feels that they found their calling um, doesn't want to have to make the choice between one or the other, uh, being a parent or, or doing their, their job. And so um, her strength um, comes from knowing that she's serving her, her country and, and that, that's a very honorable thing to do. There's really no shortage of, of women who are that tough. Um, there's kind of a shortage of women that tough that you see in the movies. Mm-hmm. Um, Thank but you. I, you know, <laughs> I, I grew up with uh, aunts and uncles and great aunts, and, you know, and, uh, you know, they were some tough broads, you know? Um, yeah, and I think Maggie's cut out of that cloth. You know? And in your opinion, do you guys think parent is, um, is a duty in itself? So in that way, some people are not cut out to be it? Or is something is a learning process? Do everyone just have that? What do you, what do you, what do you are you asking about parenting or yeah, about the military? Yeah, being a parent. Because Maggie's really good being a soldier. Parent, she doesn't really have enough experience in it. You know, it, it's hard for her. You know, really hard. I think what's hard, I don't, I don't question her parenting. I think that it's hard for her to, to reconnect. I think she has that desire to... To parent and to, to be there, and I think it begs the question: you know, can you parent long distance? Can you be as much of a, a, a of an influence? And and Ron brought up something very interesting 
earlier, which is very true, you know, um, to be an example for your child is also to be able to show them that what you're doing is something that you love and that you're passionate about doing. And it's not necessarily um, staying and being in front of them and cooking them a meal and reading them a book before bed. You know, it's also being proud uh, of what you do and, and showing them um, that that's something that they'll too have one day and that that should be supported. Yeah, men have been parenting long distance for a long time now, you know. Yeah. And I think... Uh, we don't necessarily call them bad parents, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? I think that's what's interesting about this because it begs the, you know, double standards, you know. Um, and, and I think that's what's really sort of important is it makes people sort of more thoughtful about, well, what are the traditional roles and why, um, why can't they be switched up? You know, we're um, in the 21st century. Do mm -hmm. you know? And um, and there are a lot of women serving active duty. There are over 200,000 women serving. Over 40 percent of them are parents. And so this is um, this is a real story that's happening to real to real people. And um, and I think that um, you know it, it sh we're just trying to shed some light on that.